Welcome back to another gung-ho dog training daily. Today we're going to talk about whistle training your pup. And is that necessary? For you, it might be, and for you, it might not be. A lot of people will use whistles when they're in an environment where their dog has a hard time hearing their voice. For example, if your dog is uh, doing some type of competition where it's out a long ways from you and you need to control it, either by whistle or by hand signals. You can use that whistle to get their attention or you can use the whistle to actually tell them what to do. And so whistle training your dog uh, is really up to you. Some people will use a whistle just to teach the, the pup to come and uh, that can be super helpful, especially if you don't know where the dog's at. You can do a really loud whistle and, and have the dog come to you. Uh, so really it's up to you. The right way to introduce the whistle is to have the behavior uh, taught to the dog already uh, in, a, in a small uh, environment where you're either luring and shaping the pup into the behavior or you're guiding them into the behavior, uh, whatever your training method is. And then you would start adding the whistle cue in uh, with your verbal cue or with your physical uh, hand signal or whatever it is. And that way they'll tie the whistle to the behavior. So for example, a short whistle could mean sit. And so you would already have a dog that would sit when you say the verbal cue sit, or if you held your hand up, the dog would sit. And so then as you start doing that, you would add in the whistle and then saying the word or doing um, the verbal or the physical cue and then they would go to sit and eventually they would hear that whistle and then they would know, okay, then they're gonna ask me to sit and then I'm gonna sit and then I'm gonna get a reward. So let's just skip right to sitting and getting the reward before they actually say something. So then it would get to the point where you could just whistle and then they would sit. So that's how you introduce the whistling and it's definitely up to you whether or not you whistle train your pup. And that's the end of this video. We'll see you in the next one. Hey, if you enjoyed this quick tip video and would like to receive more of these videos directly to your inbox every weekday, there's a link down in the description and you can sign up. It's completely free. Improve your pup's behavior and it's to ease your frustration and it's to teach you the number one solution to all your dog problems. So follow that link down in the description down below. Tell your pup I say hi and we'll see you in the next one.